Welcome back fuckers. Alrighty, in today's video we're going to be running through the AGM 88C Harm high speed anti radiation missile. How to use it in its uh, three different, well, actually four, if you want to be technical, different modes of uh, using it. And we're going to cover all the keybinds, how to use the, the harm and employ it on SAM sites. So you can do uh, seed mission suppression of enemy air defenses in the F 18 Hornet. So without further ado, let's crack on into it. Alrighty, guys, so we're in the jet here and we are going to bring up the the rearm page so by default it is left alt and the apostrophe key will bring up your rearm and you can fit harms on stations two stations three station seven and stations eight i've got a uh, preload already set up here uh, i'm just going to change those to harms so just coming down here and to change it you uh, right click on the station put ag missile for air to ground missile and you want to find the AGM-88C Harm High Speed Anti-Radiation Missile. And we can carry a maximum of four on the aircraft. And we're going to go ahead and select a, Request re a rearm. And Copy. we'll jump out of the jet and we'll have a look at them in a second. Alrighty guys, so we are outside the jet here and just looking at the Harm. So they are on the pylons on the wing stations there. So you can see they're a little bit bigger than the AMRAM, which is on the... Um, Cheek station, left hand cheek, and around there, and then you've got the harm, so they're a lot bigger, and that's what they look like. Let's say, uh, AGM, AGM, I keep forgetting the name of it, 88C, what do they yeah, AGM 88C. Alright, so we're gonna have a look at the stores page here, uh, just pause my tracker out. So you're going to come over and we have a look at the stores here. So we've got our harm and we have a few options here. So we've got our station, obviously. We can step between the stations, stations 2, 7, 3, and 8. All right. And we can have a look. We've got uh, SP for self-protection mode, TOO for target of opportunity, and PB for pullback mode. We're going to go through each and every one of those modes. And then a little bonus at the end there. We've got this little guy here, SP Harm Override. And I'll show you what that little guy does as well at the end when we're uh, finishing up doing some attacks. So I'm going to see you guys in the air. And we will run through uh, the, the uh, key binds you're going to need. Not that there's too many of them. But uh, we'll run through those and then we'll go through how to use each one starting with self-protection mode. So I'll see you guys up in the air in a second. Alrighty guys, so we are in the jet, We've, uh, we're heading in towards our SAMs that we're going to try and take out and we are going to select our harm, so we're in air to ground master mode okay, and we have a, got our master arm selected to arm we're going to select harms and we've got station 8 and station 2, we've only got two on board, we're carrying two mavericks as well um, and we're going to be using the SP or self protection mode on uh, this first run through So. The SP mode, let's go through the buttons you're going to need here. So adjust controls. You will need RAID slash FLIR FOV select button, which is default I for India on the keyboard. You need to bind that to something on your HOTAS. Definitely recommend that one. You also need the weapon release button, which is by default right alt plus spacebar on the keyboard. Um, and don't get that confused with the gun trigger second detent. So easiest way to remember when the Hornet. If it is an air-to-air -air missile, as in a AIM-9, an AIM-7, or an AIM-120, or the gun, the actual gun that the aircraft has, you're going to use the gun trigger for it. Everything else is going to be weapon release. Okay, weapon release for everything else. Pretty much all ground, uh, ground weapons is going to be the weapon release button. And then the last one you're going to need is the cage slash uncage button, which is default Charlie on the keyboard. So I'd buy in all three of those. So RAID, FLIR, FOV. You also need your weapon release. And you also need cage slash uncage button. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and select SP. Which we've selected here. And when you're in self-protection mode, you need the harm. Oh, sorry, you need the, uh, the RWR. Okay, you're going to use the RWR to find your target. So we're going to bring our RWR up on here. So you can press the middle button. Uh, 
bottom row button on any of the DDIs. You want to go to the TAC page right there. Make sure it says TAC and you're going to hit EW right next to it. And that's going to bring out your RWR. Okay, and you can see, if I just offset that for a second. Uh, press offset, you can see we've got an SA6 and two search radars down there. You can see as well, the S has got a box around it. Okay, so that's very uh, relevant to the self-protect mode. So that is what our harm is currently looking at okay so we are ready to run you can see on our hud as well the s has got a box around it so we're just going to descend down i'm going to get well within the threat range of the sa6 and start pushing towards it so we've got our sa6 threat ring right there so we're getting close now to cycle between these contacts so you've got the six sa6 and then two search radars how to cycle is you're going to press the raid slash FLIR FOV, F FOV button. And then you can see we've got our SA6 selected. And then we can go ahead and launch this missile whenever we see fit. So we'll just get a little bit closer. I'm just turn that down as well. Make us our ears bleed. So we're going to fire that now. Magnum at the SX6. Okay, and if we want to select a, a search radar, which press the RAID FLIR FOV, and you can see it's cycled to the uh, S, the S, and let's Magnum on the other search radar. We're going to just turn. Put some flares out. So we'd want to keep this this radar looking at us see the missiles coming at us here let's turn our jammer on as well yeah just notched it put ourselves in autopilot and let's have a look at our harms so they are cruising in at that SA6 which is still active right now And just press left control F11. And it missed, of course it missed. So that is how you do it. So they're not super accurate. As you just saw there. But that is how you would select the different targets. You hit press the raid FOV button. And it will cycle between the contacts there. So we, one of the uh, SAMs, or the search radars got taken out. The SA6 is still active. Let's just get ourselves here. We did the one, there we go. So it did kill one. It hit the search radar, but it missed the, uh, the SA6 for some reason. Anyways, let's um, restart. And we're going to go through target of opportunity mode next. Alrighty guys, so we are in the aircraft again. We've done a restart on the mission and we're going to run back in and we're going to have the same kind of thing. So we're going to go to arm mode now, TOO for target of opportunity. Click on that and we've got some options here. So now, just uh, slow ourselves down here so we don't get too crazy. So you can see we've got the, uh, the S has popped up. So this screen is essentially the seek ahead of the harm. That's what it's looking at. So it's picking up that there is a search radar, two search radars down there. Now, if you want to decipher all of this, so this is going to display every single radar emitter that it can see. So if you had friendly radars down there, enemy radars, they're all going to be jumbled into one. So what you're going to do when you're in target opportunity mode, you're going to select the class button here. So class, you're going to hit that. And we're going to select over here on the left side, HOS for hostile. Okay, then select that and it's going to show all hostile search radars. Okay, so as we cruise down and we get that SA6 starts coming in, it's going to pick up the SA6 in a second. We go. So you see the SA6 and then we've got the box there of where the SA6 is as well. 
And then if I want to cycle, I'm just going to active pause this here, just so we don't get too close. And just freeze my track way up. All right, so same deal, except now I need to make the harm seeker head, which is this display here. I need to make this my sensor of interest. So I'm going to press sensor control switch left to get the diamond to pop up here. And then once I've got the diamond, I'm going to do the same thing that I did in a self-protection mode by pressing the raid slash FLIR FOV button. And press that, and it's going to cycle between each of the radar emitters. So we're going to go for the SA6. Once you've got your emitter selected, what you're going to do then is you're going to press the cage, uncage button, and it's going to say H dash off, and then it'll box the actual uh, the emitter you've locked on, and then all the other emitters will disappear. So we've told the harm, we've handed the harm off to chase this SA6 radar emission. And you can see that we've got a harm, it says ready and station number eight. If we want to unselect it, we just press cage, uncage again. And then we can cycle, go to the search radar, cage on cage, H dash off for handoff, and the other radars disappear. So once you've got the H dash off, you are good to fire. But again, there's no ranging information. So you're gonna have to use the other uh, box that it puts in the HUD and use that as a kind of a, a gauge here. So we're gonna un unactive pause ourselves. We're gonna select the SA6, which we've got boxed up there. And we're just going to cruise through. I'm going to launch it now. It'll be well within range, so Magnum. And then once the other ones pop back up. We'll go for the other emitters as well. Magnum. And then all we need to do now is just let them do their thing. Put ourselves on active hold. Sorry, uh, active on autopilot, my bad. And we'll just watch our harms cruising in. So you can see the SB there, 1500 true. So she's cruising in nice and fast. So to get the uh, different views, I'm pressing F6 to cycle between the weapons as well. If you didn't know that, F6 will go to uh, your weapon that you've released. So cruising on in, you can see the speed now there at 800 knots. Starting to see the other uh, SAM site ahead of us. He's homing in on it. 600 knots. Cruising on in. See if this one hits, eh? Are you gonna hit this time? So they're not the uh, the most accurate of things, as you can see there, but that uh, definitely did enough damage to take the uh, SA6 offline because it's not emitting anymore you see there's uh the search radars are still up but the sa6 has been pretty much taken care of because we destroyed did enough damage that the radar is not operating anymore so that's how you do target of opportunity mode so last one or the second last one and i'll get a restart in the mission and i'll run through uh your pb pullback modes all right so i'll see you guys on the restart in a second Alright guys, so we're in the jet again, and we are going to go through the last of the modes. So we're going to select harm again, and we're going to come down here, and we're going to select PB for pullback mode. Now it's going to give us pull-up mode. It's going to give us a choice of either aircraft pull-up or harm pull-up. So we'll run through both of them, the aircraft pull-up and the harm pull-up, on two different launches. So we're going to select the, we'll go aircraft first. And what we need now is a few more things. We need a waypoint. Okay, so you need to use um, the pullback mode. Okay, you need to have a waypoint 
or a target point designated on the ground. So you can't just fire this like the uh, target of opportunity mode. You have to actually have a, a target designation point. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's got to be close enough in the area that the, uh, the, the radar can, or the harm can pick it up. So I've got a waypoint here. Uh, just bump him out here. So this waypoint I've made pretty much right at the, uh, the SAM site, just for the sake of this tutorial. But if you didn't have a waypoint, you'd have to either find it visually. All right, find it visually. And select, so say you saw a uh, missile launch down there, you could make your HUD as soy. So pressing center control switch up to get the dot in the HUD and then making sure you've got your Jehemix on. You can use this little, uh, little targeting cross here. So say you saw a missile launch coming out from over there. So you can just go bang and now you've got a target point and then you can now launch your uh, your harm at that target okay so just because you don't have a targeting pod you can still use your jhammocks to designate a spot on the ground and again it doesn't have to be exactly on it it's just got to be close enough so that when the harm's flying in that general direction it's going to turn its radar on and find what we're after so anyway so we're going to undesignate that and we're going to redesignate waypoint number one because i know that's where the sand site is and you see we've got some symbology on the HUD now so we've got we're in active pause as well that's why nothing's moving we've got AC which is our our mode for pull up so we're going to do an aircraft pull up we are uh, we have our ranging and we've got the harm X'd out at the moment and that's our range 47.2 miles to target and the last thing we need is the AGM 88C harm threat codes Okay, so you can uh, find these. I'll try and uh, put the link for where they are on the, uh, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description below on where you can download this and you can throw it in your kneeboard folder for the F-18. And you need these to use this, uh, this mode of the harm. So we know that we've got an SA-6, that's what we're after. So the code for the SA-6 is 108. Okay, for the SA-6 Cub Search Track Radar. So we're in to put the code in, so you're gonna come over to here, and you're gonna hit UFC. And on the UFC, you're gonna box target, or press the target button, you'll get the two dots there. And we're gonna put in the code 108. I'm gonna press enter. And you can see we've confirmed that target, 108. It is loaded in, and we're good to go. And the other search radar that we have down there is uh, this guy here, the SAM search radar P19, and I know that because I put it in the mission editor, but if you wanted to go for a search radar, it just says S, okay, you need to make sure that you've got the right, the right code put in, okay, because there's also an S, the EWR, S EWR, okay, so you need to make sure you've got the right code, so if you're gonna go for the search radar, you'd obviously have to do some reconnaissance and figure out what the hell that search radar is. Is it an EWR or is it a, uh, a P-19 radar attached to an SA-2 or something like that? Okay, so we've got our target uh, ID code put in. So the harm knows it's gonna be looking for 108, which is the SA-6 on the RWR, which is what we're after. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and unpause see ourselves out here so now you can see we have got everything is good we are in range 46.2 nautical mile we can reach out and hit this so we've got aircraft pullback mode and we're in range and the harm is ready to fire so all we need to do is we need to make sure we keep our velocity vector on the azimuth steel line okay on this line in front here we're just going to pull back, holding the weapon release button, making sure we've got master arm on, air to ground mode is selected. So I'm going to press and hold weapon release, and I'm going to pull back on the stick, and I'm just going to keep pulling up until the velocity vector goes through that line there. So I'm going to keep pulling back, 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 keep pulling back and magnum. All right, and essentially what we've done is we have lofted that bad boy. So you can see there, the, uh, we're just going to put ourselves in a, a bit of an orbit here. And you can see this thing is launching itself. It is going up super high from where we are. So we've essentially lobbed the harm. 
and it's going to fly in and then as soon as it gets close enough to the waypoint that we designated it's going to turn on its seeker head and it's going to start looking for nsa6 it's going to come down here sa6 should be turned on Let's see if we have any luck here hitting it boom there we go that's a shack it's a lot more accurate because it's got the other uh, top down capability to hit the sa6 so that is oh my god just lucky i uh check that jesus autopilot uh, did not turn on all right let's get ourselves reset okay so we took out the sa6 and so now we know that as before we need the code so we've got our other station it's so you can't preload uh targets per station it's just like a blanket one so it'll just be a 108 for every single arm you have on board so you have to change the target code if you want to switch to another sam so this is uh actually it's not pullback mode it's pre-brief mode my bad Everyone in the video is like, what the fuck is pool work mode, man? It's pre-brief. Aircraft pre-brief or harm pre-brief mode. It makes more sense. Um, so you're going to be using this when you know there's a SAM in the area and you've got the location of it or the, or the rough uh, location and you're going to have time to do this. It's more of a, a pre-planned pre strike, as the name says, pre-brief, whereas TOO and SP, self-protection and TOO, are more of a uh, in-situ you're like out looking for SAMs, but you don't know where they are exactly. So we're gonna change the code now to 122. Okay, so we're gonna hit UFC, target 122, press enter. I'm gonna change the mode now to harm pull up mode. Okay, so we're gonna turn ourselves back on to our target line. there all right so we're in the harm pull up mode so you can tell that we've got hrm instead of a slash c and we're in range for this harm shot so we're gonna press and hold weapon release we're gonna pull back on the stick and then as soon as we get through those carrots the harm's gonna do its own pull up Okay, so we didn't lob it. The harm's going to use its own rocket motor pull up. So obviously the uh, the range on the harm in harm pull up is going to be a little less because it's actually burning some of its energy to get that loft going on. You can see it cruising up there. Um, but that's the uh, the difference. So you're either going to use your aircraft to pitch up and lob the uh, the harm, or you can use the harm itself with a trade off of a little bit of range. So. See, we're cruising up there. It's at 52, 53,000 feet, 54,000. Topped out at 57,500 feet. And it's coming down now. It's looking for a search radar, code 122. And once it picks up on it, it's going to cruise on in. And you can see the speed difference as well that it's coming in at 700 knots still, whereas the other ones were coming in a lot flatter. So the aircraft speed. The, uh, the harm speed was a lot slower and looks like we got a shack on that one too okay so pre-brief mode a lot more accurate by the looks compared to the other TOO and self-protect modes so the other one we're going to run through is um, the harm self-protect mode or harm override and I'm going to show you how that one works right now so wait one and we'll run through how that one works all right, guys, so we're back in the jet and we're going to go through the final mode, which is the harm override self-protection mode. So by default, this is disabled. Okay, it's not going to work. By default, you have to turn this thing on if you want it. So what you're essentially going to do is you're going to enable self-protect mode so that if you do get started, starting getting locked up by a uh, radar, your harm is going to override whatever weapon you've already got selected and give you the option to fire your harm in self-protect mode while you still have a maverick or something else selected so i'm going to show you how that works right now so we're going to select our maverick okay so we're in maverick got it soy 
and we're gonna uncheck this box. Okay, so you're gonna make sure by default the box will be on. I'm gonna turn this box off if you want this mode to work. Okay, and we're just gonna cruise on in towards waypoint number one. All right, so we're in uh, Maverick, weapon select, and you're gonna find out in a second, so as soon as this SA6 starts locking us up, which it won't be too far away, just to send down a little bit more, get into range of it. Show you the difference between the two, having it enabled and not enabled. So as soon as we get down below about 26,000 feet, that SA6 should start getting angry. Definitely gonna be able to see us here. There we go. All right, so let's um, active pause it. Turn that down because it's making our ears bleed. Let's go through. So you can see now, even though we've still got Maverick selected, it says harm on our Maverick. It says harm on the UFC, and you can see there. I don't think you make it out too much, but we've got the SA6 is already being boxed in self-protect mode. Okay. And we can cycle by pressing the RAID FLIR FOV, just like we did in um, self-protect mode. All right, but we are in our Maverick mode. So this is, you can have this so that if you get jumped by something, so say you're doing CAS, doing a ground attack, and a radar pops out out of nowhere, if you have this enabled, it's going to let you fire a, Maver uh, sorry, a harm off at it without going, oh, shit, I'm getting locked up. I've got to select harm, and then I've got to go to... Oh man, so, uh, and by the time it's shot at you, and it's just a, a clusterfuck. So, you can have this enabled. And if you don't have harm override unboxed, okay, it's going to say PLBK. Alright, and map, and it won't let you fire a harm. Alright, so if it says PLBK, it's because you've got harm override boxed. You unbox it. It will say harm, means the harm's ready to go. And we can, even though we've, again, we've got the Maverick selected here. Maverick is open. Okay, Maverick is on. It's still got our harm up and going. And then if I press weapon release, it's gonna fire a harm straight at it. We'll fire two, just for fun. Magnum times two. And it's turning off because the uh, the radar is going into our blind spot. Okay, so you've got RWR blind spots directly above and directly underneath your aircraft. So if you turn your belly towards a radar, it hasn't stopped locking you. It's just your RWR doesn't see it anymore. So just keep that in mind as well. So our harms are cruising in here. Speed up time. See if we can hit them here. There we go. Looks like we got a shack on it. Those two hit that time. Yep, it's a dead SA6. Alright, and that is the harm or self-protect arm override mode so remember you have to have the box unchecked for that to work so very handy if you're doing CAS and you're not sure if there's going to be a a SAM radar SAM threat in the area you can just throw one harm on and turn that mode on and then if you do get jumped you can just quickly fire a harm off at it straight away and get the hell out of dodge and hopefully kill it so anyways guys I hope that helped you um, and you can start getting into doing some seed stuff. Uh, caveats for the, for the harm. If you're going up against an SA-10 or an SA-15, they will shoot your harms down. So you're going to have to shoot more than one. Okay, you have to shoot more than one. And the slower your harm is going, the more chance it's got of getting shot down. So just keep that in mind. The SA-15 and the SA-10, the SA-10 Grumble, they will shoot down your harms when they're inbound towards them. 
So just keep that in mind. If you know that there's a SAM site that's got SA-15s around, um, prioritize the SA-15s first. Because if you don't take out the SA-15s, they're just going to keep shooting the harms down and make your life just a pain in the ass. So that's the only caveat with the harm. It can get shot down, whereas um, JDAM and stuff like that can't get shot down by a harm. So if you can get a JDAM off at a, at a, a SAM site, it's pretty much dead unless it moves. Whereas the... Uh, the harm and the JSAL and all that kind of stuff, they can get shot down by SA-15s and SA-10s. But anyways, guys, hope that helped you. If it did and you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button for me. It helps with the, uh, the YouTube algorithms. And if you've got any questions, queries, or comments, throw them in the, uh, the questions or the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Love hearing from you all. And lastly, but not least, if you haven't already, I'd super appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, helps me out a bunch. We're cruising along towards 4,000 subscribers now, which is crazy good. So thank you everyone that has subscribed already. If you just hit the red subscribe button just then, thank you as well, you legend. Appreciate you. And yeah, wouldn't be here without all you guys uh, watching and showing support. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.